I'm Brendan Barber. My day job, I'm General Secretary of the TUC, but today I'm here uh, in Ghana with VSO in the, the Volta region. I first came here when I was 18 years old as a volunteer teacher, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the school that I taught in has developed over all those years since, but also to find out a little bit more about what VSO is doing today. Father Cletus uh, had the misfortune to be taught by me all of those years ago. He looks okay on it at the moment. Uh, yeah, this building I remember. The church on the corner. On the journey from Hope Way to Lollaby, the, the road began to look uh, familiar to me. Up at the school, the reception from everybody was remarkably warm and, and welcoming. Hello, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Thank you very much. And I discovered that I was expected to put on a traditional Ghanaian garb for the the Durba, which has been organized in, in honor of our visit. You've made me feel like a Ghanaian from my head to my toe. <laughs> but the first thing I intend to do is to join the chief's trade union and negotiate our pay. Descend me, I'm coming. Descend me. At the time Baba was here, we had just three buildings housing the whole school. This one here housed the dormitories and the classrooms. The students slept upstairs and they had their studies downstairs. Uh, it's, it's like uh, recalling the past. So this is where I used to live. Uh, I was at the one end of the house and uh, Andy Tugwell at the other end. Hello. It's just uh, a few hundred yards walk from the main school building. So um, it certainly brings back an awful lot of memories uh, coming to look at it again today. Yeah, plenty, plenty of evenings sitting out here, listening to the sounds. No, it's very similar, really. Very much as it was. Bring back memories? It certainly does, yeah. Yeah, very much so. It's very emotional to come back. And certainly the warmth of the welcome I've received from everybody here has been just, uh, just fantastic. But an awful lot of that's down to the very, very good feelings that people have about the VSOs who came here over a lot of years. For volunteers, this kind of experience changes people's lives. It certainly uh, made a big difference to me. to Ho now to visit Dave Palmer who's been running a project with an organization called Volfi which is really trying to open up new opportunities for people with disabilities. He's been here about a year. I'm looking forward to hearing how, how the project's been developing. Hi Dave. My name is Dave Palmer. I'd lived a life running managing businesses in the UK for nearly 40 years. I'm the VSO volunteer attached to Volta Physically Challenged Independent Group in Ho, Volta Region, Ghana. We're known as Volfic. Volfic's an NGO started 
by disabled people, for disabled people, and is staffed by disabled people. Our main objectives are human rights education, targeted mainly at disabled women, but not exclusively. Um, microfinance uh, and skills training for disabled people to start small businesses. Um, and we also provide some help with mobility, crutches, wheelchairs, and in some cases funding for uh, corrective surgery. Disability is still regarded unsympathetically by the community at large. Women are also, sorry to say, but second-class citizens. So you can imagine that if you're a disabled woman, uh, you're, you're bottom of the heap. And we need to educate not only them, but the communities in which they live, that they have rights. Volfig's got about 800 members in this part of Ghana. We're now on our way to meet Peace. I understand that because of her disability, at the moment, she's virtually a prisoner in her own home. Peace is currently living in a house which has a very uneven floor outside. She's a wheelchair user. She can't get her wheelchair in and out. And therefore, we've decided to rehouse her in um, a building where there is good access uh, and she can become a member of the community. I started a Trotro service uh, as an income generator, so I had to go through the process of hiring drivers and teaching them how you hire and uh, recruit people. Johnson does a great job. I'm not quite sure what the fare is to a plough, Johnson. Now. Are you a member of the good. union? Um, yes, sir. Hey, good. Yeah. Johnson's a member of the union. <laughs> He's a member of, uh, of this union, which is great. Eh? Yeah. No, and it's good to see them here in the lorry park so that people can easily go and talk uh, to them if there is a problem. It's interesting that blackboard and chalk are still a common method used by teachers. So we saw this as a, a market that we could readily move into. I've been out on the road selling chalk to schools as a traveling salesman. We sell about 30 cases a year. We like to make more, but we need to upgrade the equipment that we've got. Volfix managing far more projects than it did when I first came. We're, we're using the staff within the NGO more efficiently uh, to get more work done. The people that I've just met at the Volfig headquarters are uh, really pretty inspirational. Uh, people whose lives have clearly been really changed by getting involved with the project. People who've got now a level of mobility, they're able to move around in ways that would have been unthinkable uh, a few years ago. I just think seeing how other people have to live without a choice brings so many things at home into perspective. I've lived more in the last year of my life than more things, had more experiences than I'd had in the previous 10 years. Uh, it opened my eyes to a lot of things, not least what are the priorities in life. And I'm sure that will have an effect on me when I return to the UK and have to make life decisions. Mm -hmm.